Senator Joe Manchin, chair of the Senate Energy Committee, said Wednesday he would oppose every, every single, not, not some of them, not one of them, <coughs> every Biden administration nominee for the, the Environmental Protection Agency in anticipation of a radical regulation the agency is expected to propose Thursday regulating emissions from fossil fuel power plants that are driving climate change. The EPA is expected to unveil a sweeping proposal Thursday to slash greenhouse, <coughs> excuse me, greenhouse gas pollution from the nation's thousands of power plants requiring, sh requiring sharp pollution cuts from plants burning coal or natural gas, the country's two biggest electricity sources. It is expected to hasten the closure of many aging coal plants. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, Joe Biden. I mean, Joe Manchin, fucking in there in West Virginia, which are the predominant power source in Manchin's home state of West Virginia. And and again, it's like coal is, it's not, it's not as if like technology doesn't disappear all of a sudden. Like moving away from coal doesn't mean that we're just all of a sudden not going to have coal uh, being used to produce electricity or we're not going to have people who work in coal jobs. That's not a job that most people like will be like, oh, boy, I want to grow up and be a coal miner. Like, don't nobody want to do that bullshit, man. I mean, of course, you might you might have some people who want to do that, but that's really not an attractive proposition. So all that being said, you know, it's the same thing with like with like AI, right? Yeah, AI and technology has replaced a lot of office positions and it will continue to replace a lot of positions, but it's not going to happen all at once. Like when people talk about like truck drivers, like, oh, truck, duh, 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 like, man, they not about to have fucking driverless trucks driving thousands of miles across the country with no, with no one operating it either in the truck or outside of it or like behind a computer somewhere. That shit ain't happening all of a sudden. They're going to have to test that shit slowly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, so again, I say all that to wrap up just with like, you know, the, the idea that we can't move in the direction of clean energy because jobs are going to dissipate. That shit's not going to happen. It's just going to create more jobs in clean energy. That's what's going to happen. And over decades, jobs will shri uh, shrivel within natural gas. It's not going to happen quickly. This administration is determined to advance uh, is determined to advance its radical climate agenda and has made it clear that they are hell bent on doing everything in their power to regulate coal and gas fueled power plants out of existence. This shit's just about money. It's just about greedy motherfuckers pocketing all the damn money. Because like I said, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, creating more opportunities for people outside of coal makes sense in the state of West Virginia, does it not? Does it not make sense to provide more opportunities than, well, you know, there, there's really not much to choose from around here except a uh, future of black lung. Like, nah, man, you know, like. It, it's so ridiculous. It, it, it's just greedy people who want all the money. All of it. I want all of it. I fear that this administration's commitment to their extreme ideology, Joe Biden, an extreme ideological, uh -huh. an, an extreme ideologue, overshadows their responsibility to ensure long lasting energy and economic security. And I will oppose all EPA nominees until they halt their government overreach. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, think about how ridiculous that is. Manchin is up for re-election in 2024, but has not yet announced whether he'll run again. He has been in a constant battle with the administration in recent weeks as he seeks to distance himself from its aggressive climate agenda. Climate agenda. He has criticized the administration's ex uh, execution of the Inflation Reduction Act. A climate and energy security law he helped write while threatening to join Republicans in voting to repeal the law. If Joe Manchin were to become a Republican, he would do well. I mean, he might as well. Manchin has also joined Republicans in supporting resolutions they've uh, brought up for a vote, disapproving of the administration's energy and environmental policies, including last month's vote when he was the only Democrat to join with Republicans to support overturning an EPA regulation on emissions from heavy duty trucks. I mean, think, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, think about how, like, I mean, like, we, it, it's easy to think about stuff like, oh, yeah, our system's corrupt. You know what I mean? But really, really think about how few people are able to maintain their control over all of the money. You know what I'm saying? So much to the point where it's just regressive. Like, these motherfuckers don't want to create more jobs, which would create more money in their economy, whether it's in clean energy or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the Joe Manchin was the only Democrat to vote against something to help reduce emissions from heavy-duty trucks. Like, so that... The manufacturers of those heavy duty trucks and the oil companies can make more money. Like it's 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 miserable. It's miserable. Imagine being as miserable as these people. You got so much money and so much power that you can literally have laws written whenever you want them to be, basically. Ain't shit you can't buy, ain't a goddamn place on the planet you can't go. Your motherfucking ass could go to the moon if you felt like it. What do you want more of? There's nothing more to obtain. You people just want to subjugate. That's the only thing that's after. Once you have more than you can fucking possibly do with, the next step is subjugation. What else is there left to do? You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, these people are miserable. Like straight up. You can live, especially if you look, man, if you single, if you single and you make even $50,000 a year, you can do well off of that. And these people got a quadrillion times more than that. And they're like, no, I, we, we can't, we can't make clean energy jobs. We can't make more jobs for people because I don't have enough money. Like, bro, that ain't got nothing to do with talent. That ain't got nothing to do with skill. That ain't got nothing to do with providing value. All that has to do with is being a greedy, low down, miserable piece of shit. That's all that has to do with. These people ain't shit, man. Where was I? I mean, there's what else is there really to say? I think we pretty much uh, read all of it. But yes, it's just like, <sighs> 